What is going on, folks? Session astrophysicist here, Samit Farai, and here I'm, I'm here today to brainstorm with you about the greatest astrophysicist of all time. That's Albert Einstein. Einstein's buddy one day, you know, back in the Swiss patent office back in the early 1900s, you know, he got him a job where he got to, you know, file patents. And in my opinion, Einstein was nothing more and nothing less than a patent thief. Now just, just think with me for a moment here. Einstein's got a lot of free time at the patent office, thinking about Isaac Newton's law of motion, about items falling from nearby buildings, which led him to conceive the theory of relativity, special relativity, the photoelectric effect, um, E equals MC squared. So you're telling me after failing school, Einstein's revolution in physics with these achievements of gravity, space-time, light particle, became the greatest physicist of all time. Wait a second here. What are patents anyway, man? Um, we're talking we're talking ideas. Patents are just ideas and if someone doesn't want their idea publicized, you know, who better than Albert Einstein to take it and put his name on on the uh, on the bottom of this of all of these ideas. Now, you might think, like, what are you talking about? This guy's, this guy's, you know, Einstein's the man. But now, just, just stay with me for a second. What did Einstein do after the year 1910? Well, I know he wasn't working at the patent office anymore. Um, that's where he got his ideas, right, folks? Swiss patent office. Einstein, that's Albert Einstein. The Albert Einstein. You're hearing it from me right here, right now. Einstein was a Swiss patent thief, folks. There's a list of items that he's stolen from the patent office, and we've already listed them here today. And I hope you, hope you can do your own research and um, follow up with me and let me know what you think, guys. Einstein was a patent thief.